With this section, I want us to reflect some on the big questions that motivated this class to start with. I'm hoping we can um, use this to get some closure on the experience, pull together some of the main themes of the, what we discussed. Um, I'll give you my impressions of what I was hoping each week would be about, um, and I hope you'll share yours with me as well. Uh, this is just the basic schedule of what we talked about each week. Um, the first week was the introduction to maps uh, with some examples of how far they can stretch uh, and an introduction to archeology span about how um, archeologists reconstruct the past and why, how we think about evidence of which one kind are maps. In the second week, we talked about how the experience of space is an individual and culturally constructed thing. Um, and we talked about this in the context of fictional and historical cartography in particular. So what can we learn about how people make up places and what can we learn about how past people represented places? In week three, we talked about borders and boundaries and how they affect our conceptions of the world and um, looking for them in past peoples and sort of the implicit arguments that we make when we draw borders and boundaries uh, and how these might be impacting our historical narratives without us necessarily being aware of it. In week four, we focused on a particular set of methods that seek to map how visible things are. In the question and answer video that week, we expanded to some other senses. So maybe in week four, we could talk about the sensory experience of space and its mapping. Um, and we talked about that in a modern context as well as in archeological studies. This week in week five, we we've uh, done another set of methods on movement and accessibility of space. Um, we looked at examples from individual buildings to full cities um, and across open landscapes. And uh, with all of these, what I want us to come back to are the types of questions that archaeologists ask and the types of stories that we all tell based around maps, based around spatial information and representation. I think archaeology is a really interesting lens. Um, it, of course, is focused on the past, although archaeology does occur of modern uh, situations as well into right now, the archaeology of trash. Um, but it gives us, I think, um, a set of methods, a way of thinking about the world that we can apply to our modern lives as well. As a part of anthropology, it's interested in studying humans in their many forms and with many theoretical viewpoints um, and uh, looking for ways to better describe, to better understand the diversity of human experience that we see um, in the past and in the present. So I hope that you have found these archeological case studies to be not just interesting for their own sake, but to maybe change how you might think about uh, our, how we think about our own lives in the present. Um, that's certainly been my goal. Uh, and even if, if they were just interesting for their own sake, I think that's a victory as well. I have some additional questions for you around this idea of main takeaways from the class. Um, three of the big questions that I used to structure the material that I covered in the lectures were these. What is a map? How are maps used in historical reconstruction? And what do maps teach us about the past? Um, and I'd like to invite you to take a moment to reflect on these prompts for a while. Um, and any response you'd like to send in, I would be delighted to read about. I'm also curious what you thought were the most important, interesting, or surprising ideas that we talked about in the class, either in the lectures or in the question and answer videos and our emails back and forth. Uh, and feel free to share an individual moment map or fact that came up, or if you'd like um, to reflect on sort of each week as it came, I would be, I would be really um, pleased to see those. Uh, also, this is an opportunity to continue a conversation on any earlier topic. If you didn't get a chance to write in about something or um, you'd like to keep talking about something that was discussed, uh, please let me know and I will pull together some of these common themes in the video this Friday. Um, uh, also, if you notice any connections between the different weeks that you'd like to point out, 
Um, I think that would be a really great way to cap off the, the course together. Also, I'd like to thank everyone who emailed me with questions, with comments, with suggested readings. I know I benefited from your uh, participation in the class, and I'm sure that your fellow students did as well. Uh, it's never too late. If you would like to participate this week, uh, you are more than welcome. Please email me on any topic you find interesting, um, and I will spend the next video summarizing the suggested activity and discussion prompts for easy reference.